Hello there, welcome along to the galley on the Ross Revenge and the YouTube channel of course. That's where we are at the moment. And um, we're pre preparing the curry for Sunday night's tea. Right, so it will depend on who's on. Uh, so if we've got any vegetarians on, we'll try and make sure that we've got something we can prepare for them. Tonight we've got no vegetarian, so at the moment I'm just doing the basis of a chicken curry. Uh, and that's going to be a madras curry, which is quite a warm one. Uh, and I'll taste it to make sure that it's up to scratch to uh, people's taste and stuff. Uh, I have to be careful because some people like it hot, some people don't like it so hot. Um, last night we had uh, roast gammon with uh, crushed potatoes, which you didn't know about. And uh, we also uh, had some, um, what do we have with that? Vegetables, of course. Vegetables. And some gravy. Right. Uh, so a typical weekend would be probably something like pies and mash and veg, uh, gammon. Um, we've never done steak. We, we, don't, we, we don't go that extravagantly. Uh, it's too high end. For the yeah, Ross too high end for the Ross Revenge. Um, and on a Sunday, it's usually a, a one pot meal or a two pot meal, so like a curry or a chilli, yeah. or something along that line, so that it's nice and easy, so we can clear up nice and easy. Um, so tonight, as I say, chicken curry, and a bit of rice. We've got some naan breads over here, some poppadoms, and um, that's about it, really. That's the way it is for a Sunday night's tea at the Rostrum End. So on a normal weekend, myself and Andrew Austin prepare the meals. So I was up at seven this morning and uh, we do a full breakfast. So a couple of sausages, bacon, scrambled eggs usually because it's easier to serve everybody with that kind of thing rather than frying eggs and stuff. Uh, beans, mushrooms, sometimes hash browns. Um, and then that's then up to people during the day to look after themselves. So there's always bread. Uh, there's some bacon in the fridge if you fancy doing a sandwich. Um, there's sometimes some spare eggs if I buy extra boxes of eggs, but I didn't this time round. Um, and then the evening meals usually served about six o'clock. So this will be ready for about six. So everybody can have their evening meal. And then we do the, the nutty uh, end, of sh end of the broadcast show at seven o'clock. And for washing up as well, everyone chips in. Basically. Everyone chips in. Uh, Steve Bishop's on with us this time round. So he's uh, he's not into cooking, but he doesn't mind coming to do the washing up. So he's been the the washer up most of the time this weekend. But we do all chip in and help out in the galley to, to clean up, wash up and make the, make the tea and coffee for everybody that's on the air. Okay. Although Steve did forget Nick Jackson's <laughs> at three. So he's uh, going to make up for that when Nick gets down here in a minute. Give him a cup of coffee. Right. Oh, of course. We'll put that in the video. <laughs> That's an outtake. Right, here we go. I've never used one of these can openers before, and I don't think I'll ever use it again, but it's not working. Not very good. No, let's have a look in the drawer for and find another one. So with the crew we had this weekend, we got six people on. We usually try and feed Paula and Stuart, who are the, the, the people that bring the people out to see the ship, the guests that come out to see the ship. Uh, so this week, um, this weekend, we spent roughly 65 pounds for the weekend. Wow. And that, that's fed seven people for the breakfast and fed six for the evening meals. So it's not too bad. Um, if it's a three-day weekend, we might spend between 70 and 80 pounds for a weekend. So you're quite efficient with the costs, try and choose something that's... Yeah, we try and keep it down because obviously any money that's made goes into the coffers to keep the station going and obviously to keep the ship going. So we try and keep the cost down as much as we can. Yeah, so we did a cupboard audit yesterday. Um, so there's always baked beans. There's always some chopped tomatoes that we'll put in the curry as well. Uh, and we try and keep things like these 
um, you know, beef and mince onion, mince onion pies, and a, and a vegetarian option, so a cheese and onion one. Uh, there's some also some fish and some soups and bits and pieces. We got some um, rice. Um, we got some ready meals and stuff like that. You know, um, these mug shots, these things that you can do if anybody wants a quick meal um, or you know, like something because they're hungry. There's always biscuits and crisps and things in there. So there's some stuff that you can, if you were stuck like we were last month on for an extra day fortunately i brought some extra stuff out so we had enough to make another breakfast and stuff but if we didn't have not had that there's always pasta there's rice and these ready meals and bits and pieces that we could throw together to make a meal before we got off the ship brilliant well on a saturday night because we've got a bit more time uh, they can have the option of coming down after their show to eat in the mess room as we usually would. On a Sunday evening, if somebody's on the air, we try and get it so that the person that's got to go on air has eaten. So tonight that'll be me going on at seven o'clock. Um, so we'll try and get it that the dinner's cooked and ready for me to eat before I go on air. But if not, somebody will plate it up and bring it up to me in the studio. So we do try and use mostly fresh ingredients, as you can see there's onions and peppers in there, but obviously doing cooked tomato or, you know, tomato to put into the, the curry is easier to use a couple of cans. So we just quickly throw them in. And that can go in, that's in. I've made a bit of a mess there as well, look at it. So they can go in the bin now to go off. There's some tomatoes in. Let me just go back to the store cupboard. Get rid of that off my hands. Oh, who did that? Right, so we've got a mixture of uh, bits and pieces in the cupboard. So I have some garlic in there. And I'm hoping, yep, there's a bit of chilli powder, which I'll add a bit later. So I'll add some garlic granules into there. Bit of garlic. Give it some flavour. And we've got some chilli chili powder a bit later on, just if just to see if it's uh, if it's um, not up to scratch heat-wise. Possibility it might be. So give us all the stir up. I've left watching it. Nigella Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> I've left it quite chunky because, um, you know, I think you need to have it a bit chunky. The onions will break down as they cook anyway, so but I've left it quite chunky. Obviously, we need to season it as well, so I'll get that as well. I don't want I don't want Gordon Ramsay seeing this and saying it's not seasoned. <laughs> We said we should have a bit of a cook-off here, shouldn't we? Yeah. Foster versus Ramsey. <laughs> so we got some black ground pepper and a bit of salt, a bit of sea salt in there. There you go. Nice. Got some seasoning in it. There you go. And we just put a little drop of vegetable oil in there as well, just to give it a a start. That's it. I don't use olive oil because I don't think the flavour is great. Everybody, a lot of chefs use olive oil, and I'm not saying I'm a chef. No, right. you are on board. <laughs> but um, a lot of chefs would use olive oil, but I don't particularly like the flavour, so I wouldn't give it to anybody else just in case they don't like it either. So Fair enough. there you go. That's going on the uh, cooker now, and I'll cooker. just cook that down for a while. And then I'll add the chicken to it. Marvellous. So, I need to, on this cooker, it, it doesn't light itself on the back. So we give it some of this. Oh, I've lit the front. <laughs> you think I'd know how it works by now. Uh, with this being a 
So you've got good pressure at the moment, so I'll put it down really low just to cook that off a little bit. Put a lid on it. Okay. That's it, that's good. I'll leave that there. I'll wash that, that and that, and the board. And that's basically most of the dinner prepared. I've got to put a pot of water on to put the rice in, make sure that's cooked, put the chicken into it, because the chicken's part cooked anyway, so it's just a case of putting it in, warming it all through, testing it for flavour and, and strength of heat. Job done.